What's up, everybody? Lethal White now up here. And guys, I want to talk about Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. Uh, I got to play the demo. I tried it out over on PlayStation 5, which if you haven't already, go ahead and do it. They did extend it up until I think it's in July when the uh, demo goes up. Um, but definitely go ahead and check it out for anybody who hasn't already. But I kind of want to I kind of want to talk about it just a little bit. So I play Final Fantasy games, right? I mean, at this point, who does it? if you're watching this? Let it be known now, I do play a bunch of Final Fantasy games. And let it also be known that this is also sort of newish to me in terms of a, a Souls-like kind of style action game. Now, don't get me wrong, I've played like, I played a little bit of Neo, the first one, not too much, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I've also played games like uh, Jedi Fallen Order, which kind of has like that Souls-esque, you know, kind of combat style to it. And so I think this game falls more in the lines of maybe those two than a traditional kind of Souls game, because I, I don't have the biggest history with them. So it is kind of newish to me. Um, but I think right off the bat, I want to talk about that in terms of, you know, uh, Strangers of Paradise. Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's a different kind of take, right, on a Final Fantasy game. So I'm actually going to be one of those people that are like yo i kind of dig it and i know i feel like people have kind of jumped in the gun on the game in terms of well i'm not even gonna front there's definitely i think some justified uh criticism on the game the use of chaos so much definitely kind of kills it for me just a little bit sometimes like what are we doing chaos what are we just fine it's not chaos like it's all about chaos um but you know i know that goes with the narrative of the story about a, ma a mad band just trying to take out chaos i mean i don't know exactly what the story is going to be right i would be only just get a taste of it and i know there's interviews with the director and stuff like that and i believe just the development team in general so i haven't looked too much into that aspect of it but i kind of just want to talk about my time playing the demo but i will say for how much, for as much as I've, I guess, played some of those Souls kind of like games, I thought this did a great job. I thought gameplay wise, this was a lot of fun. Uh, and again, I, as someone who doesn't really play too many, too many of those kind of games, uh, this is, I think, kind of refreshing. Just, I guess, another IP, right? That's not Demon Souls that just has that style of combat. To me, is really cool. And obviously, you're featuring characters from Final Fantasy, so you have the whole Garland, right? But not Garland. He's becoming chaos or whatever you want to call it. Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't played the actual demo yet. I think at this point. By the time this video even comes out, the demo's been out and people have probably already played it already. Um, but I guess I want to say, gameplay-wise, I enjoyed it. Uh, the different skill trees are the jobs, I guess you could say, more so. Uh, the Lancer, there's a the Swordsman. I'm going by like the basic ones before you get to the advanced ones, which is like Dragoon, Warrior, Black Mage, and then I think the regular ones just Mage and whatnot. Um, I thought it was cool. I think it was a great way, right, to incorporate uh, the job system into this kind of game. So I thought that was really cool. I like the fact that also you can do kind of like uh, abilities and techniques where you can kind of cancel into the other um, other. Uh, basically job class that you have assigned so you can kind of have like two at least in demo that's all i've seen so far was two you can have equipped at the same time you can kind of interchange between the two and so i did a lot of mage uh mixed in with swordsman but at the time i had like a uh, warrior and black mage and stuff like that um i will say i thought it was great i had no issues with it um i know some people are kind of like feeling i've heard a lot of the story of it's a souls like kind of game so incorporating magic kind of ruins it i guess Again, because I'm not so right well versed into the whole uh, Demon Souls games and stuff like that, I play a little bit of like Bloodborne stuff like that. But regardless, I think it's cool, and I think it's a way to, to pretty much just kind of distinguish itself right from the other uh, like Souls games and whatnot. So I dig it. I dig the whole mage thing. I think it's kind of fun. I will say I cannot stand, and I hope they fix it because, to my knowledge, this is like I don't know. So far, I can only imagine. That, well, I think the game is slated for a 2022 release. Hopefully late 2020, uh, 2022. Uh, but I was going to say, the actual, uh, like, spell wheel, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it, the little spell wheel that pops up to choose a spell, sucks. I hate trying to select the spell. It never works out as much as I want it to work out. I always end up hitting up a different spell by accident, especially in the fight against Garland. Oh, my God show bad um but that's probably my th probably my biggest gripe with it besides that i don't want to like get too much into the details of it just because again it's early but two it is like a souls kind of game so like it's not meant to, to be kind of like easy to land combos like it's going to be hard it's all about timing right especially getting off those uh i, I forget what it's called it was like the souls move where it's kind of like the equivalent of like a parry and everything um so like it, it's not the kind of game where it's not like a devil may cry because i remember a lot of people saying like oh this is gonna be like a devil may cry kind of game and i was thinking that in the beginning and i was like okay i can kind of see it but when you play it nah 
not not at all I, it definitely like i said feels more of uh, the games that i'm used to that i play like a jedi fallen order a little bit of neo probably more aligned that more aligned on, on those because there is a whole like kind of combo system to it you can do combos and unlock new combos which is pretty cool i like that uh, again just more ways to help make it feel I don't know. I don't want to say modern or whatever, but it's just ways to not let it get too boring because I could see some people just being like, okay, this is kind of boring. I just do a hit, hit, I'm done. Hit, hit, I'm done. At least with this, each job has different combos that you can kind of do, which I think uh, I think is really good and I'm glad they did that. Aside from that, what else? I mean, I don't know about the story too much. Let's talk about the friends, the friends that join you. I, I already forgot their names. Prompto and Gladius. Like, I, I just how I feel like. I kind of feel like they were just mirrors of them in this game. But they didn't do anything. At least in my time playing the game, they, they serve as a good good. I felt like when it, against Garland, because I think that's the biggest, obviously, stand, standout fight that I'm just coming to my mind mostly. Because I did play this a couple of days ago, and I'm just doing it at uh, the recording now. But essentially... I kind of feel like their main purpose was just to be those distractions. I never cured them. I never wasted a potion on them. If they died, they pretty much just died. Uh, but the biggest thing they did was, I think, serve a distraction, right? Take some hits. Pretty much distract the enemy, or at least Garland at the time. But besides that, I kind of felt like... I hope, again, in the final build of the game and at the very end, uh, they make sure they do more things. Hopefully, they're more customizable. I, and if, here's the thing. Again, I didn't I didn't read the recent uh, interview because there was an interview that was done, I believe, with the developers of this game. And they talked about it. And they, I think they said, like, there's going to be more use of the actual um, companions in the game and stuff like that. So I'm sure there's going to be way more usage for them. But I will say, again, just coming back to the demo. Oh my god, they did nothing for me in that last fight. Besides serve as just decoys whenever I had to use like a potion or something. Uh, but that was pretty much it. But I hope again that they do have better purposes later on in the game. Uh, you see, besides that, I guess maybe I heard a lot of people talk about how the graphics, resolution, whatever you want to call it, the art style, was just not doing it for them. And I, I don't know. I've always felt like these Souls-esque kind of games... I kind of feel like they're always meant to be more of these darker toned games, right? It's a darker palette everywhere in this castle. It's just dark, especially in the second half of that fight with Garland. It gets dark and it gets hard to kind of see them. And I don't know, overall, it just has like a dark tone to it, right? So I kind of feel like it kind of served that purpose in that way. But I do think, you know, I don't know. I, I, in a way, for me, it's not much of an issue. But I do see a lot of people saying like, oh, my God, the game sucks. And I guess not so much our style, but so much like resolution and just so much, I guess, just the actual game graphics. It, overall, people are just saying it looks like it's trash. It looks like it's PS3 level graphics. And again, I feel like just the way the game looks, I'm sure I still have to polish right in the final build of the game. But I will say that. I don't know. I guess it didn't bother me too much just because I expect these kind of games to just look in a certain like to look a certain way if that kind of makes sense to anybody. So it didn't bother me that much. So I thought that was like okay. But definitely I hope the story and writing does get a little bit more better. Not so much just freaking chaos over the place. Also, would be cool to see some like I'm just gonna call them finishers for lack of for better words. Um, you know, whenever you're able to finish off an enemy, you hit the circle button and it, it goes ahead and does like that finishing move. I hope there's like different ones besides just the uh I don't know crystals that he kind of looks like he does when he finishes off the enemies might be another thing that i hope to see change at the uh in the final build in the game um i think a lot of people i remember twitter went off on the armor for the character people were going off on Nomura. it was just going crazy um but i will say i like it's a new term for me and i already forgot exactly the term but everybody anybody who's watched this can correct me i think it was called i'll pronounce it i know i'm gonna mispronounce it but it's like an eskai esekai isekai something like that so yeah i already know i'm gonna butcher it um but it's basically i think a style of game where you just i guess your character kind of just gets different outfits during the way whatever the case may be i'm not used to hearing it in that term but like you almost like in your typical kind of rpg-ish kind of games right where you do get different armors along the way and they some of them cater to your abilities as you'll see here in this game a lot of the different armors might cater to certain jobs so you know there's might be a better armor set that's made for more mages and might give a better ability bonus and stuff like that so i i you know i enjoyed it for what it was you know I, it's 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 got again like that built-in rpg to the style game um but besides that i don't know i i think overall i enjoyed the game i felt like i was gonna play this game and be like yeah it sucked i can see why twitter hated it but i'm like finding myself on the opposite end where i'm like man i thought this was kind of great especially for what i'm assuming is an early build of the game hopefully again when this game launches if it launches 2022 would it be surprised if they maybe push it back 2023 but then again for them to push it back in my opinion 
it's because they're trying to like really do some hardcore switching up of certain things but overall i think it was not a bad uh experience I, the whole thing where I think we're, I think most of the complaints are coming from, like I said, was the graphics. I don't see them changing too much of it. It seems like it fits the style of this game, which is again just a dark, a dark game in general. Um, but uh, I'm trying to think, anything else I want to add into any of that? I don't think so. Honestly, I, I enjoyed it, like I said, and so I'm excited for when this game releases. Again, I think it's just fun, something a little bit different, right? Especially someone like myself, who I haven't touched the first three. Uh, honestly at the first maybe first five final fantasy games and forever i'm talking i used to play those back in the day maybe i think through some emulation if not emulation i think they used to have them on like the game boy advance because i haven't retouched those past games in a long time and i don't believe that this story is specifically like final fantasy one for example i think it's supposed to be a set aside like a, its own story that might have some ties into final fantasy one or something like that again correct me if i'm wrong i don't i don't remember exactly so for me I, i'm excited for what this is going to be and so i'm excited for i hope it's going to be an interesting kind of story because believe it or not personally i I do like the stories that the final fantasy games do give and so i'm hoping this one has a interesting story as well but i honestly i think that's it it's all i'm going to talk about really uh i definitely urge you guys to check it out seriously i think it's a it's it's a different take on a, a different take on a final fantasy game and i think most people will enjoy it but guys thank you for watching i'm lethal one up if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content like this thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace yeah!